All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to get into talking about the Chiefs-Raiders game. Um, wanted to get into a couple of things. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins made his debut with the Chiefs, but was quiet. Only had two catches for 29 yards. Uh, Travis Kelsey uh, scored a touchdown. His first touchdown of the season, uh, he had 10 receptions for 90 yards. Uh, Xavier Worthy also had a touchdown in this game. Kareem Hunt had a touchdown in this game. Patrick Mahomes threw a horrible interception. Uh, the Chiefs were backed up deep in their own territory, and, you know, he throws a pick. But guess what ends up happening? The Chiefs' defense prevents the Raiders from scoring. They don't, they don't get any points on that drive. Nothing. And that is the strength of the team, once again, is that defense. You know, they lost to Jerry Sneed. Doesn't matter. That defense is, is still elite. I mean... It's one guy, but still, that was a big part of their defense. And it, it really does not matter. They, I mean, they still got most of those guys, but they just keep rolling. Um, they actually scored a touchdown on their first drive. They went right down the field, nine plays, 70 yards. Mahomes hit Hopkins for 13 yards, 25 yards to Kelsey, 21 to Samaj P. Ryan, and that led to a Kareem Hunt one-yard touchdown. Then the Raiders, they actually responded on their drive. They went 12 plays, 70 yards, almost seven and a half minutes of time possession, down the field, and Gardner Minshew connected with Jacoby Myers for a seven-yard touchdown, so they tied the game. Chiefs punted. Raiders, um, they kicked a field goal, so they were up 10-7. Carlson made a 54-yard field goal, but then the Chiefs responded with a touchdown to make it 14-10. Mahomes connected with Travis Kelsey for a five-yard touchdown. Uh, the Raiders punted, and then the Chiefs were able to get points before the half, a 42-yard field goal by Harrison Butker. So, yeah, that made it 17-10. Uh, both teams exchanged punts. Then the Raiders then kicked the field goal on one of their drives. 32-yarder by Daniel Carlson, so that made it 17-13. But yeah, Mahomes throws a pick. So there were a couple of penalties. Uh, he had a legal block above the waist, so that forced him back. And then he had offensive holding. That forced him back even more. Then another offensive holding. Now, three straight penalties and then an interception. So... Yeah, that, that was not good. But then it didn't matter. You know why? Because the Chiefs' defense is elite. Fourth and goal, they go for it, the Raiders, and Minshew ends up getting sacked. Then the Chiefs go 19 plays, 87 yards, almost 10 minutes of time possession, 9 minutes, 43 seconds. They get down into field goal range, and Harrison Butker from the 5 kicks a 24-yard field goal. So, yeah, that made it 20-13. Uh, to 13. Uh, Then the Raiders fumbled. Uh, that led to another Chiefs touchdown. That made it 27-13, to 13, and that was a... Mahomes, to, that was the Mahomes to Worthy touchdown. And then uh, the Raiders, they put together a touchdown drive. Uh, Minshew connected with uh, with Turner for an 11-yard touchdown on 3rd and 10. And, uh, yeah, it was 27-20. But the Chiefs were able to get the onside kick. Raiders had no timeouts left. And they won the game. Mahomes went 27-38, 262 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Kareem Hunt, 21 carries for 59 yards and a touchdown. Um, Chiefs defense had five sacks in the game. As for the Raiders, Gardner Minshew went 24 of 30 for 209 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Alexander Madison had 14 carries for 15 yards. Raiders only ran the ball for 33 yards. Brock Bowers, he was their leading receiver. Really no surprise there. Five receptions for 58 yards. Jacoby Myers had six for 52 and a touchdown. Uh, DJ Turner, 4 for 28 in the touchdown. Madison, 5 for 29 in the passing game. Raiders defense only had one sack. So they fall to 2-6. And, and I had them at 8 wins. I thought, you know, they were going to be somewhat more competitive this year. And, you know, that really hasn't... I mean, they only lost by 7 here, but, you know, I, the, the Chiefs should have won by multiple scores. But, yeah, they are... Uh, they're two and six, and you know they're heading towards maybe like, you know, four or five wins, at the moment. So that's another team that I thought, you know, maybe there were some teams that I just was like, too high on. Even though I was only giving the Raiders like eight wins, I mean I didn't have them making the playoffs or anything, but I I don't know. I just thought like you know you draft Brock Bowers, you still had Devontae Adams, you know, it, they went out and got Christian Wilkins. You know, I thought maybe, you know, and I thought Antonio Pierce was going to actually change the culture with this team, but it's kind of just more of the same. So, now Devontae Adams is on the Jets. 
But the Chiefs just continue to to win games, and you know who knows when they will lose a game. I would like to think that the Buffalo Bills will give them their first loss, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's either going to be, it, it could be the Buffalo Bills, it could be, maybe it could be the Chargers, maybe it could be the Texans, maybe it could be the Steelers. I, maybe Jameis pulls it off in Week 15. I don't know. There are some games left where they could lose. They could, but I don't know. I mean, I would love for my dad's sake if the Steelers uh, won on, uh, on Christmas uh, against them, but... Yeah, I don't know. They just continue to find ways to win. And it's not pretty. I mean, Mahomes still, you know, hasn't been spectacular. Uh, the interception, you know, was bad. But, you know, he had two touchdowns, threw for 260 yards. You know, it's not like he had a bad game. And right now, so his touchdown to interception ratio, uh, is it updated? Yeah, no. It, it, right now he's got he's got ten touchdowns. No, wait. No, he's got eight. Yeah, it's eight to nine. It's eight to nine right now. Um, which I just I can't believe after you know week eight, that's his touchdown to interception ratio. It's eight to nine. You wouldn't expect that. This guy threw for fifty touchdown passes his first season. But either way, look, he's not playing good, but the Chiefs are undefeated. So, you know, and, and what happened last year? I, I'm going to keep saying it. We kept saying, this is not going to be the year, is it? They're not going to win this year. They did win. And you know what? They may look like this now, but you got some guys coming back on offense. Once you get to the playoffs, it is completely different. It's completely different. And they'll, they know how to get it done in the playoffs. They know how to get it done. So we could sit here and say, yeah, the offense, they, they, Mahomes doesn't look good. The touchdown and interception ratio is not great. It does not matter. It does not matter. The defense is the strength of the team right now. And you know what? Travis Kelsey, he scored his first touchdown. He's going to have multiple touchdowns in the playoffs if he's playing. So we could sit here and say, oh, you know, this might not be it. You don't know that. You don't know that. We saw the, the same thing unfold last year, and they won the Super Bowl. So, but it's going to be tough. You know, like, the Ravens, despite them losing, despite them losing against the Browns, you know, they've gotten it going offensively with Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry. So, you know, I want to see them play against each other again. Um... You know, there's other teams. I mean, the Bills. I mean, it's going to be the same teams that they always run into. So it's going to be like, well, they're just going to they're going to just going to beat them again. We'll see. We'll see. But let me know what you guys think though about this game. Uh, Chiefs are still undefeated. Raiders two and six. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. Um, you know, I, I am. Uh, Definitely going through it right now with, uh, you know, what happened last night in the World Series, and uh, it, like I said, it, it was, uh, it definitely was tough uh, getting up and and coming on and doing this show, but got to do it, you know. Um, I obviously, you know, I used to do the baseball podcast. Now I'm doing this, but it's just. I can't. I can't really get. I, I don't want to get into all of it, but it just. It was. It, it was definitely one, probably, no, not probably definitely the worst loss I've probably ever experienced as a sports fan, honestly, and it's funny because, the game one. Uh, game one of the World Series. I, I thought it was that one, but no, it was the one last night. Two losses like that. In less than a week. That, and I and I love sports, but when you experience things like that, it just and, and we all have we've all experienced losses, some worse than others, and 
the losses in the World Series I, were those were the worst losses I ever experienced, and I don't, you know, and that's just how I feel right now. But you know what? Still got football to enjoy that, even though it's not even like I have a good football team to root for. You know, right now the football teams I'm rooting for are not or don't don't exist. They're they're not real. They're fantasy fantasy football. That those are the teams that I'm still invested in. And you know because the Giants aren't good, and you know the Jets prediction doesn't look it looks horrible right now. Let's see if they get a win tonight. But yeah, it's just yeah, and I'm gonna have to probably uh you know I'll be going into the production meeting in a little bit and uh yeah and i have to talk about it but you know it is what it is that's what it's like being a sports fan you know you're gonna have your highs and you're gonna have your lows and right now i uh there's a lot of lows so um but yeah anyways enough of that uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the show today we'll be back again tomorrow we'll do our picks We'll take a look at some of the big matchups for this weekend, both in college and in the NFL. So make sure to tune in for that tomorrow. So um, make sure to check out all the other shows. Like I said, give the other shows uh, some love. Uh, actually, I did want to shout out uh, TJ, who does the uh, sports podcast. Uh, it will be his last day today. So make sure to check out his show. Um, you know, he's done a great job. And, uh, you know, going to miss his presence uh, on the network so um he's been kind of one of the staples uh but he is going to be uh he's going to be leaving this is his last day uh, doing a show so make sure to, make sure to check out his show um does a great job I, I had him on my show uh once and this was way back uh this was like sometime last year but um or maybe the beginning of this year i don't even remember but it was it was a while ago so um yeah, no, just wanted to shout him out, wish him good luck. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, make sure to check out all the other shows, give the other shows some love. And, uh, as always, I'm your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>